Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20 and welcome to episode 6 of Direwolf20's Enigmatic 2 Expert Mode series. Uh, just been doing a little bit of off-camera work. Um, as you can see, it is uh, right around the holiday time. I'm actually recording this video the day before it goes live, because uh, as a result of holidays, my backlog is completely gone. So this, this video does go live tomorrow, so not as much as a backlog as you might think. Um, so I threw another chest down here. Uh, I did some mining between episodes, found some more Thomcraft crystals, which is cool. Um, got a bunch more lapis and some redstone and coal, so that's a good time. Got a bunch of, um, you know, metal-based resources. Haven't processed any of them yet. Uh, gonna basically do what I can to hold off on processing anything until I get, uh, ore doubling, right? Like, obviously I gotta process some stuff. Um, but yeah, just did a little bit of mining between episodes. That's, that's about where I'm at. Um, did I... I know I, I did... I, yeah, this guy has fortune three. That's cool. Do I wanna, up, like, like, get this guy up to looting... I need quite a bit more lapis if I want to get into looting. I think I'm going to hold off just for a bit um, to, to do that. I don't know exactly what I'm going to need lapis-wise, so maybe I should hold off. Yeah, I think that's a smart move. Uh, otherwise, you know, just doing the old off-camera work, right? Lots of mining, lots of uh, resource collection so that we can prepare for today's episode, which is going to be, hopefully, I'd like to upgrade this thing to a, a, a higher tier blast furnace so that it can smelt things a little bit quicker for me. So that should be good. I believe I've got enough uh, steel ingots now to, to make this a reality. The only thing is I need to get the steel plates that I need. So I need about 27 uh, steel plates, right? Uh, however, somebody mentioned and this is a cool trick. So there's actually two things. First off, uh, I was I was informed that the recipe for Thomcraft plates exists. I, I don't see that. Thomcraft plate. Um, iron, I don't see even like the iron plates existing in Thomcraft. So maybe that recipe did exist and no longer does. Maybe it was, it was patched out because I am on like the latest version of the pack. So uh, I'm not seeing Iron plate. Uh, yeah, you. So, oh wait, that recipe does exist. Oh, so it has to be. It's not shapeless. Okay, cool. So that is that is better, right? So what about steel plate? Does that recipe work? Uh, it does not. However, uh, I am being told that I should be able to get a plate cast over here. Now we're totally gonna want this guy. What do we got? Aluminum brass. Yeah, we can. We can aluminum brass that straight up. So with that said, I should be able to throw these guys in here, melt up some steel, and I'm told that this um, will cast directly into an iron, a steel plate. One ingot becomes one steel plate. So that'll that'll prevent the need to to use two steel plates, right, per recipe, and that that should be cool. At least for now, um, because we're also going to want to get like the stamping machine thingy. I think that's also uh, in, in the works for today. That's my plan, at least. So do we want to like automate this a little bit if we can? Uh, I might be able to get a hopper. What's the deal with hoppers? Iron plates. Not a big deal, because we just learned that they're actually easier to make than we thought. So that's neat. Uh, and then we need a chest. So we'll get like two of them uh, and uh, some buttons. And that should be cool. Oh, I actually need the whole piece of wood for the chest. Okay, my bad. Shouldn't be too bad to get though. You know, I'll just chop down everything that's here. And replant before I forget. Works for me. Inventory is rapidly becoming a problem, by the way. Uh, hopefully, hopefully I can solve that problem sooner than later. So you know what, I might want two hoppers, so let's just do that. Okay, perfect. Um, 
And I probably want you. Yeah, you could be moved. Let's snag one of these guys real quick. I should get around to upgrading my shovel to something a little better, but meh. Alright, so we can pop this dude here. We'll pop that guy there. So that means you should be good. And then for transferring the liquids out of there... Is transposers in the back? It doesn't look like it. For a trans... Yeah, how about... Uh, we could probably maybe get transfer nodes. Does that sound reasonable? It does. Uh, however, it requires XNet routing cables. Okay. Which requires a lapis lazuli plate. Ooh. Oh, it stinks. That ain't happening without either IC2 machines or thermal machines or nuclear craft machines. Okay, uh, what other fluid transfer mechanics can we have? I mean, I could put like just a clock, right? Like some kind of timer, like the redstone clock from Extra Utilities 2. That requires skystone block. Well, okay, advanced redstone torch from random things and a resonating redstone crystal. Yeah. That all ain't too bad, except for the Skystone blocks. I don't have any of those at the moment. What other clocks were here? Redstone clock from Cyclic. That's complicated. Um, how about a timer? That looks reasonable. That's reasonable. All right. Uh, some gold. And some redstone. And we should be cool. And as you can see, I was uh, smelting a bunch of charcoal up in preparation for what's going to be a lot of charcoal use. Speaking of a lot of use of stuff, how are you guys doing? Not too shabby. Okay, so the, the dark utilities timer should be a good way to get some pulsing going on here. Is it smooth stone that I need? It might be. Cool. All right, works for me. That should be a good way to... I thought you could go, like, sideways. I really did. If I pulsed you... I wasn't sure if the, if the, if the thing would go through the thing. Uh... Ugh. I'm gonna move this, because I don't want this to be affected by the pulse. Every second sound good for now? Hey, shouldn't you be, uh, oh right, yeah. That'll do. So that's semi-automated. I should, if I'm gonna do that, I should probably look towards getting this liquid out of here though uh i don't think there's aluminum brass plates so i think we should be cool i think what'll happen is it'll get to that and then stop all right not too shabby that's right i got that global traveler head thing didn't i let's upgrade our shovel since i do have a nice new shovel head that's cool okay uh so we've got that taken care of let's clean up this and this so we'll get our blast bricks upgraded, right? Let's get our immersive book, because I'm pretty sure I need a hopper to go along with the engineers. Let's see. Um, heavy machinery, improved blast furnace. So that would be that, with just a hopper on top, right? Blast brick. So it's just blast brick with steel plate on top. Okay, cool. So let's get another hopper. And we can trash these wooden shards because I'm sure they're useful for somebody, but it's not me. Let's get a stack of cobble smelted up here. You 
to make a button. And we can get a chest. And we can get another hopper. And that should be cool. Okay. So now that should be what I need to get uh, the blast furnace up and running. Uh, but while we're waiting for that, let's make sure that we've got this ready to go. I'm going to put the copper hammer I have away. Although it looks nice, I'm going to put it away for now. Uh, might check it out later. Didn't use it while mining. What do I want to do? I want uh, the preheaters, right? These things. These things should really speed some stuff up. So I need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 14 of those. And we'll need a couple copper coil blocks. So we are going to need a bit of copper if we don't already have some. We're going to need a little bit more. Cool. And we'll do that. That should be good to do this bit. So there's the sheet metal I'll need, right? Um, we're going to probably need a little bit more copper than this, so let's just uh, get eight more on top of that. You, how are you doing? Hey, nice! The 27 steel is done. Perfect. So I should be good to get this going while that's smelting up. And that should be that guy. Beautiful. Perfect. And we'll smelt up some iron while we're at it. So that's already faster, right? I feel it probably. I don't know, I can never tell. But it'll definitely be faster once we get the iron preheaters going on there. And that'll get us steel production a lot faster. Now, a lot of people commented that I can throw iron and coal into the smeltery to also get steel. That's an option. That's something we might. We might look at doing down the road if we need to. Um, definitely a valid option for sure. Uh, for sure, for sure. Uh, so how many of these? I think that's right, right? Because um, for the preheater, I need eight LV coil. So that's eight copper wire, which is eight plates, right? So we technically need a little bit more because we're going to be, uh, we need two of them. Right. All right, so you should be good now. Sweet. So you're automating your day away. Let's think about what's next. Maybe some more MV wiring, but I think we're okay with that stuff, right? We'll figure it out at least. What else might I need? Because we're going to have to get power over to that thing, right? Um, we'll have to figure out how I'm going to run wiring because dire wire incoming let's just put it that way not looking forward to it but i feel like i feel like it's gonna happen right like we know we know what we're in for in the future and it's absolutely gonna be dire wire related so you should be good we can get some shears now i know i had some shears there they are I'm telling you it's hard to see that stuff sometimes not even kidding. One more ingot's worth to pour in there. So you guys go together. Okay. So that piece is now done two of them two of them two of them beautiful and I guess that was a quest which is cool let's see I kind of like wasn't even paying attention to quests because dire derps but hey cool claim a loot box we also got a water wheel quest complete which is nice Okay. Hey, some food. And a terrestrial artifact from Biomes of Plenty. Oh, wow. And they don't stack. Ha <laughs> ha! They are a giant mess. What do they do? I don't even know. They can make a biome finder or an ender amethyst. 
That's neat. They're also useful for combination crafting from the extended crafting mod. Oh my. They also play a role in Infinity Catalysts down the road, and they can also be used to create lithorite crystals uh, in the future. Sweet. How do you get them? They're not too bad of a recipe, but all in poweredness. So, yeah. Let's find a place to put them. I guess for the time being, I'll just throw them in there, but we're going to need to change that up real quick. Wow, yeah. So that is 15. Didn't I get 16 of them? I feel like a dedicated chest for these things might be in our future. And not the distant future either, the immediate future. Uh, I'm gonna pop you down there. Because I just have no idea what to do with you guys for the time being. I'm, I'm not sure if that's a good reward or not. But the fact that they don't stack makes it not the best reward to have right now. Let's just put it that way. All right. <coughs> so with that taken care of, uh, we've got our preheater going. We just need to, to power him now. So let's get some MV coils and MV connectors, relays. I'm going to need another MV connector, which doesn't look too bad. do that. Cool. So connectors, these guys go up here. And here. The relay, which is the MV wire relay, can go here. You're going to connect to here and there. Okay, what just happened? Did I only have three of them? Is that what happened? Probably. Uh, MV wire, that's Electrum, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Gold and silver. Once you have Electrum, I will put that towards the bottom. We'll get plates, and then we can cut them up and make more wire connectors. You've got more terracotta for me. Another connector for that. Electrum, go. Now, I think that'll be eight ingots of Electrum, right? Yeah. I have no idea how long I'm going to be in the immersive engineering wiring phase. Um, thinking mechanism cabling is going to be the next thing that we have access to, but, you know, we'll find out, right? Who knows? So there's that. MV wire connector relay doohickeys. Good. All right, so you should probably be a power output, right? And you can connect to that, and then you guys should be getting power. Beautiful. Which means you're going to smelt faster, I would think. And you've, go, you've both got juice, which is cool. That definitely seems quicker, right? I feel like that's absolutely quicker. And that's going to be more steel ingots. Nice. All right, cool. Look at that. We are up and running. So you are still in that gain of power, which is good. I like it. Okay. So let's put away all our immersive stuff for a minute. I'm going to hang on to my manual, but you can go away and you can go away. Um, let's look at the quest book and see what my, or not that book, the quest book, and see what my next task should be. Um, so you want me to make a heavy engineering block um, to, to complete this chapter, quote unquote. Um, and I wouldn't mind... So now I'm not sure, right? Because I've got that smeltery doing the, the smelting of the plates, which is cool. Uh, we should do the engineer's workbench. Uh, let's do that for sure. Right, so that's just going to be some treated wood. So 
We'll do that and we'll get ourselves a bit more treated wood. Cool, look at that. Time to tinker. So we'll claim our loot reward here, maybe something good. Eh, food. You know, that ain't bad food. 15, that's bad food. This is bad food. That food ain't all that great, but you know. All right, you go away from me, buddy. Cool. So with that taken care of now, uh, we can get blueprints. Well, not entirely sure if this has been changed. Metal press molds, crafting components is iron, aluminum, and copper, and three lapis and three paper. Iron, aluminum, and copper. Wasting charcoal, I know. No, not you, you. Uh, three lapis. And three paper. And that should be the crafting components recipe. Cool. And we definitely want that because it's going to make what I have to make eventually so much better. I don't know what an architect saw bench is. That's a new thing. Oh my, look at that. That's cool. One makes two. Oh, that's neat. I like that. I'm guessing this is like you put this in here and you get that thing. That's pretty spiffy. That's cool. Wow, look at all these shapes. That is awesome. I am unfamiliar with this mod. I mean, to be fair, it's 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 a, it's a mod for making nice looking houses and such, and that's not a dire thing. But still, that's a neat looking mod. I like that. All right, let's sleep through the night real quick. Be right back. Okay, so now that we've got some stuff going here, right? Um, I'm I'm debating whether I want to make the plate press thing because we can get plates pretty pretty fine pretty quickly still from the smeltery and that leads me to not necessarily want to get plates from immersive engineering because that requires power and the smeltery doesn't really it just needs lava um, which is kind of the same thing at the end of the day anyway because eventually we'll get into lava based power but still you get what I'm saying right um, So you want me to make these things for the quests, right? And then what do we got going on here? We won't be able to see until we make the thing. Generator block, radiator block. Interesting, okay. Now what do I need to get into mechanism? I have to make a steel casing, right? Uh, steel casing. So that just needs like a healthy amount of osmium, some steel mechanical components, and a reinforced blast brick. Ooh. I did not see that as a requirement. That is interesting. Not the end of the world, mind you, um, but still an interesting bit of information that I just gathered there. I didn't, I didn't notice that, let's say. Um, so I do have that. So that means that, you know, this thing shouldn't be too bad. It's for clay and for netherrack. And yes, wasting charcoal again. I'm at the point where I'm starting to care less about that. But I should be able to make this now. <clears throat> uh, and I'd like to, because I'd like to see if we can at least break into a bit of some stuff, right? So we're going to need four steel plates as well. to be prepared for that bit. Okay, um, but I think we can get into steel casings at this point, at the very least. Does require a huge amount of osmium to make steel casings, but I think it's something we can manage, right? And you know what else I should really do is make that charger from Immersive. Charging station. Requires an MV wire connector, a copper coil block. That don't look so bad. 
How am I for copper at the moment? Not as good as I'd like to be. I could probably just put you straight into here, right? There's no sense smelting the copper and then putting it in there. Cool, and I've got that stuff. You are almost done cooking. I'm just gonna make sure that the copper is at the bottom there and then we'll be good. Nice, all right. Um, next task, I would probably want to have you for sure. Yeah. And then I'll need two treated wood planks and then I should have everything I need to make that charging station. The only thing I'll probably want is you and one of you. To be fair, I do have some LV wire coils in here, but two of you. And you're just done now, anyway. Okay. You guys do that. Is this any glass or does it have to be? Yeah, it's any glass. Good. So what are the chances that I can just like pop this dude down? Ow, 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 ow. That's right, that's right. I remember, you're a thing. <laughs> I warned you guys Direwire was happening, right? Like that, that's something you're not shocked about at this point. Or so I might, I might hope that you're not shocked about it. What I could do is just pop you right next to each other and do something like this. Ow. But hey, you've got power in you. Neat. Does that mean I can make a building gadget now? Just hypothetically speaking, right? Technically I do have resources, I believe, at this point to make a building gadget. And you're capable of holding 1 million RF. Hey, look at that. Sweet. That is cool. I can do building gadgets. Yay! Uh, the only thing I want to... I want to get a copy-paste gadget, which means I need to find emeralds. But once I have that, I can start using some of the uh, buildings you guys have been submitting to me over Twitter. Um, so that'll be happening sooner than later, uh, hopefully. But that's neat. I have a building gadget now. Wouldn't mind having a destruction gadget also, but I'm gonna need some ender pearls before I can get that. Not a big deal. We'll work on it. All right, so I was working on doing Osmium, right? Because I wanted a steel casing. Cool. And let's also put you away. So are you done now? Oh, that's cool. We have a building gadget, yay. All right, let's make our osmium casings. So I should be able to do this. You guys should have given me that. Okay, uh, over here, steel casing requires a piece of copper. I'm gonna need at least one more copper. At least. All right, that, 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 that should be cool. Should be cool. Okay, so if I put that in there and I put that and that, we will get two of them, perfect. All right, <clears throat> and then I should be able to get one of you with one of you. And we're missing a little bit more osmium. I did find a healthy amount of osmium more down there, but considering how much it looks like I need, uh, not as healthy as I had originally thought, right? Because um, we definitely need lots of the stuff. But that said, uh, a few people have commented and questioned whether I plan to do like the full-blown 
5x ore processing in this series. I'm gonna consider it heavily. Uh, cause, 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 I mean, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. But hey, look at that, quest complete. Now, do I want speed or energy upgrades? So speed upgrades requires osmium dust and enriched alloys. And energy updates because, I guess the question is what's more common, gold or osmium? I mean, either way, it's not a big deal. Um, I'm, I'm assuming that I can make this with a mechanism machine, right? Yeah, the enrichment chamber. Oh, nether wars give me twice as much. That's cool. That's cool. They learned. Um, so yeah, the enrichment chamber can handle that. The crusher, that's the mechanism crusher. Yeah, I always mix these two up. Because like the crusher is what you'd expect to have this recipe in it. But it's the enrichment chamber that has that recipe, right? Um, that's cool. Not a big deal. So, I mean, in terms of the quest reward, I'm going to lean towards speed. I know like I don't have a huge amount of power production going on right now. And frankly, I should probably go energy upgrades. Um, but I'd like to get into things quickly. And then we can create energy upgrades because they don't look too bad. We'll find out though. So speed it is. Hopefully I don't regret that decision. So that tells me, and people have been saying, hey, can you please claim your reward over here? I'm just holding off on claiming this reward. It's 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 paper and red velvet cake. We learned that red velvet cake is junk and uh, paper is paper. So I'm holding off on that for now. But does that mean I can get into mechanism now? Well, I believe it does. And hey, I get a configurator for free. Look at that. Hooray. Daryl 20 has begun the mechanism quest line. Hooray! But we're gonna have to wait till next episode to do that. Um, so we've got the foundation of power gen going on. We've got a building gadget, which is exciting. We've got a charging station to charge some of our gadgets. Hey, I also got a robot. Where did I get a robot from? Did I get that from a quest reward? That's configurator. Did this guy give me a robot? No. Where did I get a robot from? Where did I get a rabbit from? I mean, that's cool. That's cool. I forget what he does. I remember checking him out at one point. I think it was in Modern Skyblock, right? We saw him. I can't place him in the world. I forget. He does a thing. Um, he does a thing. He's cool. He's neat. I forget what he does, but he's neat. He's definitely a recipe that is very complicated, though. So not sure where I got one for free. Honestly, don't know. But for now, Devil 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We'll come back next time. Maybe get into Mechanism, unless I run into some kind of problem. And if I get into Mechanism, which should be cool, uh, I should probably figure out where Osmium comes from in the Y leveling. Uh, Osmium comes from, for your reference in World Gen, from the overworld. Anywhere from, you know, 20 to 40. Seems pretty good. Seems like a pretty good even distribution. 30 seems to be like the right sweet spot. All right, Donald 20 signing off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.